I will start by actually challenging that. I mean, the notion of the organization not transforming is actually an error of thought. All organizations are continuously transforming. They cannot help themselves. It is only in our minds that we have the vision of a company that remains unchanged. The question, instead, should be how do we ensure the right kinds of transformations? Because organizations can very easily transform into monstrous versions of themselves, into things that are not fit for purpose and so on. So the point of transformation is not simply to say we need more or less of it, because that would be a naive and a frankly quite stupid notion, uh, but instead, how do we guide the inevitable change and the inevitable transformation of all organizations into a path that would be most productive for the same? And also, hopefully, into a path that would be transformative and supportive for the greater society that surrounds the organization. The big challenge is, of course, that we tend to transform in the way that seems easiest and is most legitimized. Take the notion of digitalization, for instance, a most silly term today used in the sloppiest way as you can possibly imagine. Now, we often see that organizations go for digital transformation simply because they're too lazy to think about the real need for transformation and they just hang on to this buzzword, this simple cliche, because that seems to be right now the thing to do. The real a challenge of transformation is how do we find the kinds of non-tested divergent transformations that could create true value. So the barriers are, on one hand, laziness, we go for the easy transformation, the easy path. Two, sloppy thinking. We use big terms with tiny meanings such as digitalization and therefore pretend that we've done th something. And three, that when you actually want to go for a big transformation, an impactful transformation, we need to make sure that this difficult journey is one joined by everyone. A bonus might then also be that to really do the kinds of transformations that bring value not just for the, uh, the organization or the individual in the short term, but society itself in the long term, you need a tremendous amount of courage. So in a sense, the deep-rooted and most primal barrier of transformation is fear and cowardice. What we need to understand to successfully transform organizations is how easy it is to transform in the wrong way. How easy it is to kind of turn yourself into a parody of yourself, uh, to take a term that today would happen to be popular and turn that into a very kind of simplistic, uh, reductionistic notion. If we want to truly deeply transform, we need to let go of simplistic concepts such as transformation itself. You might even argue that the term transformation is the enemy of transformation, simply because it has become such a widespread and simplistically understood term. So uh, in order to truly change, we need to continuously challenge even the terminologies we are using. What I study tends to be barriers. I tend to study problems more than solutions, blockages more than ways forward. Uh, so a lot of what I do has to do with how come we simplify concepts such as change, innovation, transformation, even leadership, and turn them into caricatures of themselves. And I do that because it is my honest belief and my, my kind of desire to kind of teach people that Actually, change is hard, innovation is difficult, and nothing is created by just simple cookie-cutter models. Uh, real change takes real thinking, and real thinking is hard, and I'm trying to study what stops people from going on that journey.